Hey everybody, Sam back once again, and yes, it's time for another battery review for you. I get a lot of requests for battery reviews, especially for the Samsung Galaxy S3. So, the awesome people over at Moogan Power decided to talk to me up one of these bad boys. It is a humongous 4600 milliamp battery. Now, the one that comes standard with the Galaxy S3 is 2100 milliamp. Have you seen, I've reviewed a battery in the past, which was kind of aimed at somebody that wants to keep that nice, kind of normal look. But if you're a power hungry user like myself, but you're okay adding some bulk to your device, this is going to be the review for you. So, let's have a quick look at it. So, first of all, as you say, it's from Mugen Power, which you can go check them out at, you see it there, mugen power batteries.com. And again, a big props to them guys for sending this in to me for the review. There's your warranty information. Obviously, your warning if you want to pause any of these, you can pause it and just your attention. But that's the month for bone for, let's be honest, we never really read any of that kind of stuff. Let's get into the back of it. So yes, as you probably said at the beginning of the video, it is a whopping 4600 milliamp battery, which, you've guessed it, is going to give you a beast size of a battery. So, turn the back of it there, Mugen Power, lithium ion battery, the all important 4600 milliamp at 3.8 volts. And here is the extended back on there, which we'll come to in just a moment. So first things first, just going to take the back off this one. So as you can see there, that was the original battery. So let's just take that one out, let's just chuck it over there for now. So let's do a quick size comparison up to the official battery that comes with the device. And obviously the Mugen Beast battery, as I like to call it. So you're probably going to notice off the bat, yes, it is a hell of a lot thicker. But at the end of the day, it's a lot bigger in terms of size as well. So as you can probably see there, this part here is pretty much this size here. As you can hopefully see that there. That pretty much that little ridge there is the difference between the actual official one and this big bad boy Mugen one. So let's stick that there. Let's just put it off to the side, which is the official battery. So once again, I'm just going to show you. Just put the actual battery in. So there you go. Now obviously, if you try and apply your original back, you're going to have problems. So, obviously, we're going to decide, right, we know that, we're going to give this bad boy, which effectively, obviously, replaces the official back cover. So, it actually makes it easier to snap on, believe it or not. So, just kind of pop it there, and then all you do is pop it there, and it's done. It's actually on the phone now. There's no kind of, like, extra kind of, ooh, pushing here, pushing there, click it, click it all in. That's it, it's actually installed on the phone. And yes, as you can see, it does had you know add quite a substantial amount to the actual thickness of the actual phone. But again, this is aimed at the power user that wants that battery to last as long as it can actually last. The cool thing about this one, though, is it gets a little bad boy. So if you decide you want to watch a movie, you take it on a plane, whatever it might be, boom, you've got the nice little kickstand. And I must say, it's, I've used it quite a lot, believe it or not. Um, when I'm at work, you know, if it's a bit dead, we just kind of stick it there, put a music on, put a YouTube video on, and just watch it. So it just makes it so easy to actually you know, use the, the whole capacity of the battery. So as you can probably see with regards to the actual camera, it is recessed in there, which actually is going to add you a bit of protection to it. Because obviously if it's down like that, even if it goes like that, you can't scratch the device no matter what. So it kind of adds a bit of protection to the back cover as well. So if you don't want to kind of you know ruin your camera lens and you want a bigger battery, this is ideal. Now, yes, as you can see there, it does add a lot of bulk to it. I'm not going to lie, it does pretty much double the actual size of the device. But I'll be honest with you, when you feel it in your hand, it's actually not that bad. I know people go like, ah, oh, no, it's too big, it's far too fat for me, is that one, Sam? But I'll be honest with you, you, you don't really feel it when it's in your pocket. It's not, it doesn't feel that much bigger. And I don't know why, I can't really explain that. Obviously, Samsung make the thinness of the device for a reason. But, you know, I'd be interested if Samsung ever, you know, decided to make a battery um, or foam, actually, this size kind of battery in it. Because they could probably make it thinner. But for now, the awesome people at Moogan have got a kind of replacement, which is this one here. So I'm just going to power the device on. Um, I've took a, I've got a screenshot just to show you the kind of performance I've been getting. Um, I'll, while it's turning, I will tell you the kind of performance. Um, I've been getting a good two days usage out of it, believe it or not. Um, so, you know, those people saying, oh, you can never get more than a day out of your battery. I've been getting, you know, two solid days. And that's with a lot of screen on time. I'm talking seven, eight, nearly nine hours of battery of screen on time, which I'll show you in a moment. I've got I've got one screenshot that I've actually got saved on the device. So I'm just going to load that up for you now. Right, so here it is. So as you can see there, the one day, 16 hours, and that had 30% remaining at that point. Again, this is a screenshot, but you can see that it did have 30% discharge left. And it was a one day, 16 hours. 
and at that point I'd had it on for five and a half hours. So as you can probably understand, you know, I was going to be getting at least probably six and a half, seven hours out of it with another thirty percent left. Um, again, I would in some cases. Um, again, it depends on what you're kind of doing with it. If you're watching streaming at the same time as let's say you know watching some of that, but streaming it, it uses more power. But if you're watching it on your device, it doesn't use as much power. So it depends what you're doing. But again, just to give you a bit of a screenshot there, thirty percent left, and I had a day and sixteen hours. So my normal kind of usage, I was getting easily two solid full days out of it. Now to me, that just makes it worthwhile to add that extra bulk on there. And believe it or not, it actually feels really nice, easy to hold in the hand, because as I can hopefully try and show you here now, it's trying hard to show you. But you can probably see that it just kind of kick out a little bit of the actual sides. So this part tapers in. So when it tapers in, when you hold it, you kind of get them just little ridges here on your hand. So if you hold it like that, it's there. It's actually it actually kind of makes it easier to hold because you kind of got something to hold on to. I know it sounds a bit weird to kind of go like, oh, because it's, it's bigger, it's easier to hold, but it actually is. You know, you kind of got something to hold on to the sides. And all in all, I've been very, very impressed by this battery. Um, I know one of my friends is reviewing the same one at the same time, Mr. Matt Saunders MCP. Hopefully has his review up soon as well. But with both being super actually, you know, by the performance, the whole feel of the phone. And I'll be honest, I don't know if I could go back to the stock one anymore, just because I like not being able to have, not having to charge my device every single night. If I forget, I don't have to worry, I've got two days use out of it. If I don't use my device that much, I can get three or four, nearly five days out of it. But me being me, I use my phone quite a lot. But yeah, we're talking at least six, seven, eight hours of actual screen on time. The highest one I've got, which I can remember off some head, was about eight hours and 42 minutes before it was on like 1% one percent left. But yeah, again, big massive props to those people over at Moogum. Very, very impressed with it. If you want to go pick one up, I'll put a link in the description. If you want to see any more of these kind of videos, do not forget to hit that like button. Um, it gives them an indication that you know you want to see more of these kind of products uh, coming from them, guys. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed. Follow me on Twitter at Sam J. Pullen. All the good stuff. All links in the description. And yeah, you'll see me all in my next video. <laughs> Cheers, everyone.